What's up, guys? It's Techno Viking 23 coming to you today with some Mass Effect Andromeda commentary. And I wanted to talk and give my reactions about the uh, recent trailer we got uh, that actually has some gameplay from Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, we got a nice look at a lot of the features the game is going to have. Uh, I have some mixed reactions about it. It confirmed a few of my fears about the game, but there's also some things to hopefully be hopeful for. Uh, but we'll just get right into it. So, uh, the new trailer's out. It shows some gameplay, uh, combat especially. It shows driving around in the Nomad. It shows landing on a planet. It does show a very brief cutscene, uh, which is kind of worrisome in a way because it's really hilarious how Mass Effect has been around for a while, like eight or nine years at this point. And one of the big complaints that we always had with the original Mass Effect games was how they just didn't seem to get the facial expressions or the animations right in the cutscenes. Um, and it, this is really obvious and really bad, even in this initial um, gameplay that's shown, is the facial animations in the cutscenes are just terrible. Um, they don't look realistic at all. Uh, they look actually a little bit worse than Mass Effect 3, in my opinion. And I hope they get this cleaned up before the actual game comes out. Because if this game releases and that's what we have, I think it's just going to be awful. Um, another thing I noticed is the character movement uh, seemed to be a little bit choppier than it did in the original 4K gameplay trailer that they showed us, where the uh, rider was exploring the vault with the um, Asari and his other teammates. Uh, hopefully that's something else they'll get worked on. They still have a couple months to take care of a few things. We got an image of some of the conversation wheels and the interrupt options that you have. Of course, they've gotten rid of the Paragon Renegade system now, so you're just going to be able to talk to people. Um, the conversations are going to have some kind of influence or rating system. And quite honestly, it seems a little bit more like Dragon Age Inquisition, which was one of my big fears, uh, where you have the conversations with people and you're just building up more reputation. There's a scanning system now where you can search for things around you. You have to find resources on the planets. You have to explore them, find things to help you on your journey. And some of the open areas they were exploring through reminded me again a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm really getting a Dragon Age vibe from the gameplay shown to us so far in Andromeda. Um, now, the, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of open world combat because obviously the Nomad does not have weapons. So most of your combat is going to be just in third person. And watching the gameplay in the combat, uh, you do get to spam a lot of different powers. It seems like you have a lot of different weapons and movement abilities. And as they said, you're going to be able to choose from a pretty wide pool of abilities for your character rather than just focusing on one class as you could in the other games. And I'm, I kind of have mixed feelings about this. Um, on one hand, uh, the combat seems to be way too fast and way too action-paced and oriented for a Mass Effect game. And this is something they did say they were going to try to do is to make the game more action-oriented, I guess, to appeal uh, to a wider player base. When I hear things like that, I, I get really uh, skeptical about it. And to me, that just sounds like we just want to make the game more action oriented for all the COD kitties so we can sell more copies of the game. And I hope that's not what EA is doing here. Uh, but the gameplay I saw in this trailer, it honestly, to me, I was like, well, this looks a lot like a third person Halo or a third person Titanfall. It really didn't feel at all like a Mass Effect game to me. And I'm sure some people probably are going to welcome that. They didn't, didn't like the flow of combat in the other Mass Effect games. Um, but I'm not as big a fan. Um, I'll just be honest. I'm kind of skeptical about this. I, I, you know, I don't think you should play like Warframe or like Halo and just be this crazy fast-paced shooter. I, the thing that always made Mass Effect appealing was sort of the RPG feel to it, the story based around it, and everything. So I really hope they're not going to lose that when this game comes out. And they really didn't show a whole lot of that in the trailer. They they didn't really go into a lot of the story features of the narrative. So we still don't know much about it what exactly is going to happen. Is it going to be an open-ended story where you're just exploring everything and trying to find things? Um, or is it going to have an actual ending? Um, you know, like I said, I just continually get this Dragon Age vibe from all the gameplay we're seeing so far. Um, but the game, quite honestly, does look really impressive. It, it, the, way, the way they were able to get the smooth flow to it, the graphics look really good so far. Um, and they still have a, quite a bit of time to further polish the game. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but overall, like I said, I'm not, I'm still skeptical. Still very skeptical about how this is going to turn out. I think the combat will work well for the multiplayer, uh, which I'd like, it's funny, I'm actually more excited for the Andromeda multiplayer than I am for the actual game itself, because I think the improvements they're making to multiplayer are going to be really good. If they can basically capitalize on Mass Effect 
um, three's multiplayer, make it make it more improved. I think it'll be really good. Um, but like I said, just a lot of the movement system, a lot of the, the layouts uh, of everything I'm seeing, it just screams Dragon Age. And it's and even the multi, even the movement system looked a little like some of the multiplayer stuff in Dragon Age Inquisition. And I really, really hope that's not how it turned out. Uh, and I wanted to address a few other things I saw in this trailer. One of my first thoughts was we're seeing a lot of council races uh, initially in the gameplay. And uh, actually, when you start out, you do get to see a female. You have a female Turian companion, which is pretty cool because I, I actually liked uh, Nyreen, was one of my favorite characters in Mass Effect 3, who's a, a female Turian you can use in the um, Omega DLC. Um, but that's pretty cool. There's a Krogan also. We, we did get to see quite a few Turians in that initial um, cutscene that they showed us. Uh, but one question in my mind when I saw that was why are there so many council races in Andromeda when obviously we haven't populated that that, that galaxy. It's a brand new galaxy. But then I realized going back and listening to the dialogue, um, the first settlement that they land at there, they're actually, those people were kicked off of the Nexus, which is like the big control ship that goes with the Ark. So those people apparently didn't agree with what was going on. They got kicked off the ship. They got left behind on a planet. Basically were able to set up their own colony there. Um, and it kind of had sort of an Omega type feel to it. Like just sort of this place where, you know, um, the lawlessness rules and things. So, very interesting to see that aspect of it, but I really didn't see too many new alien races in this trailer, and that's uh, that's kind of alarming because if we go to Andromeda and you're constantly fighting against uh, groups like Cerberus, you know, if they're hum human groups, or if you're fighting against rogue groups of Turians and Krogan and things like that, which we saw in the cutscene there, that's going to get really immersion-breaking to me. Um, this is Andromeda. It's a new galaxy. There should be a ton of new alien races that you have to fight against. There should be at least four or five new species, um, in addition to the Ket, which we saw um, a little bit ago, that you're going to have to go up against. And if you're constantly fighting against these council-type races, um, I, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work very well. Um, but at the same time, I do hope we see, you know, Corians and, and Solarians and things. And you have enough. Obviously, you're going to have some of those in your crew. I would expect it to be very similar to um, the crew you had in, in the other Mass Effect games. Uh, the voice acting talent also doesn't seem to be up to snuff as the other Mass Effect games, and that's going to be kind of hard to to do anyways because the first three games had such an amazing voice acting cast. So we'll see how that works. Uh, but overall, like I said, we, we've got a lot of interesting things in this trailer, but again, nothing that really impressed me and nothing that screams I have to buy this game. Uh, nothing that really tells me it's going to live up to the Mass Effect legacy. Like I said, I can't shake this Dragon Age Inquisition vibe at what in. Though I really enjoyed my playtime in Inquisition, and I got a lot of play out of it, um, the game just felt really boring towards the end. It didn't feel like I got much out of it in terms of the narrative, the, the character interactions. And overall, I just didn't like a lot of the systems they use in the game, how empty the world felt. And just originally seeing this trailer, I, I get that feeling of just this empty world where there's really not much to do. You go from go to point A to point B and fight random group here, and then that's it. And go grab a couple of shrubs or collect a few things and use them. To, they mentioned there's a crafting system in this game. Um, God, I hope it's not as bad as a crafting system in Dragon Age Inquisition. Again, I'm <laughs> just hoping it's not going to be like that. But either way, it's just a trailer. I guess we shouldn't read too much into it. But again, this is EA. It's really hard to trust EA, especially of late, especially with all the stuff that it seems to be, they seem to be doing to dumb down Mass Effect. Um, but... I don't know. Hopefully the game turns out well. I'm still going to be very interested in Andromeda. I'm still going to be following all the announcements and everything surrounding it. And I really would like to get some word on what kind of story is going to be in this game. If it's something closer to Mass Effect or Mass Effect 2, or if it's going to be more jumbled and kind of forgetful like Mass Effect 3 where nothing's going to really matter. Uh, but either way, either way, guys, let me know uh, if you watched this new trailer. Let me know what you thought about it. Are you still kind of skeptical about Mass Effect Andromeda, or are you really, really looking forward to it now? I know there seems to be a bit of a divide forming with this game where a lot of people are really super hyped for Mass Effect Andromeda, and some people are kind of really just low-key on their expectations. There doesn't seem to be much of a middle ground, and a lot of people are like just completely fanboying out about it, and some people are being a little bit more reserved with their expectations. So we will see what happens. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to leave some comments down below. We can have a little discussion about the new trailer for Andromeda. Have a great day as always, and I'll see you again next time.